Hello YouTube! Today we are going to be playing Thinking with Time Machine. Now Thinking with Time Machine is actually a mod for Portal 2 that just recently came out. Yes, it is 2014 and there is a Portal 2 mod just being released. Why is that? Well, what I think this is is basically a unofficial version of um, Portal 3, which is never going to exist. As we know, Valve never counts to 3. Um, what I think is really cool about this is it is unofficial. It's not made by Valve, yet it really does have that Valve feeling quality. In fact, it's so good that um, Valve put it up on the Steam homepage as a recommended game. It is free, but believe it or not, it's still in green light, so that shows its potential. So let's start playing, shall we? Um, I will tell you I have started playing the very beginning just so I could figure out how to do it before I make this video because I've seen many videos on this recently and nobody knows how to do it when they start. So as you see it starts just like the ending of Portal 2 where you realize hey I'm free this is Earth you know but wait till you see what happens. <laughs> so the bird just ran into uh, some projectors there, or some uh, panels, showing us, hey, we're not really on Earth, it was just fake. I think that's, this is actually just really, a really cool idea. Uh, you know what I really find funny though is, uh, Earlier last year, I was talking to some buddies about Portal 2, and how I know Valve never, you know, does a number 3, but I was saying, well, why don't they do a number 3, and I had this great idea, I can't remember 100% what it was, but how they could do a Portal 3, and I do remember that it involved time machines, which I find pretty interesting, because, sure enough, this, uh, mod is based on time machines. So enough with the jibber jabber. Let's uh I'm gonna get to playing here. Uh if you do like this video, please subscribe and do comment on how you think I do. Um also watch Goat Simulator. I'll be doing an episode every day. Including today probably. Oh she looks like I go on this platform. You know what's really cool about this though is it, it's very colorful, like it doesn't look exactly like Portal 2. Alright, so as you see, you start right off the bat with getting handed your portal gun. But if you notice, there's also something else on there. A little tablet device, kind of based off of, like, what, an iPad or something. Um, at first I looked at this and I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do? But then I watched this. And it basically shows you... Right here shows you this little guy waving, pressing R, walking up to the platform, pressing Q, walking up to the door, hitting F, and then walking in through the door. And you also see that there's two people. So basically what you do to use this time machine is you press R, and that starts recording. So if I go up to this, hold it here for a second, to give me, and then hit Q, it just recorded my actions. So if I hit F, it will play back my actions. Just like a kind of like a time machine. And what do you know? The door is open. So I think this is a really smart way of adding an extra feature to Portal 2. I think whoever designed this is definitely quite the genius because it seems just as complicated, if not more, as um, just normal Portal 2. So I'm not going to watch this again very fully. As you see, I bend over and jump. So, it's pretty simple. So at first, this is what I did. It's This is not very self-explanatory. I, I recorded myself like this. And then, I played it back and thought I would be able to jump up. I was like, okay. And I watched it again and it shows the little guy. It shows him kind of bending over. 
So I kind of tried to bend over like this, but obviously that doesn't do anything. You still look the same. Um, as you see, nothing happens. So what I did is I was like, oh yeah, I could crouch. And then, I don't know if that recorded. No, it didn't record. So, I could crouch. And then, play it back. So then I got the idea um, that I'm able to actually get on top of myself now. But I still can't reach. So I was like, oh, I can jump. So I do this. And then I jumped up. And sure enough, that is what you're supposed to do. And as I jump, oh, right there. So it allows you to get on top of them and then jump off of their head. Same thing here. Give myself a chance to get on. And now, I jump. That was it. Simple as that. Map's over. Now this is as far as I've gotten, so now it's gonna take a little more trying. Let's see what I do. Alright, I start here. Press okay, I do my typical recording. I do it on the other side of the lasers. I quickly put that there. And I press Q as soon as I'm on the other one. Alright, that seems pretty self explanatory. So I'm assuming the lasers come in right here. So I'm gonna step over here. Yep. Now it looks like it's building a cube. Okay, I press Q. Um, now I'm a little confused. Do I... I have to try this again, I don't think that worked. Well, it seems self-explanatory, but the thing is, is the cube disappears. So if I... Oh, oh wait. Alright, so... If I get the cube... Oh, the door was open. Oh, dang it, I killed myself by accident. Right, so I think I'm kind of getting the idea. Maybe... Oh, man. Or maybe if I put the... Huh. This thing destroys the cube. I got three shots. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. I know how to do it now. So, I just need to hold longer so I have more time. Alright, so I'm on a timer, so I gotta put this here. Record myself going over here. Stay here. Three, two, one. And now, function it. Nope. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I hit the freaking lasers. Alright, but I got the idea now. I gotta do this one more time, and I'll get it. Alright. You know what? Can I walk? Alright, I'm gonna do this beforehand. myself a lot of time. Alright, this is gonna be real simple now. Now that I have that pre-recorded. Now all I gotta do is just drop this here, hit F, 
F. Oh, wait. What? You know what? I thought I had it. Alright, I opened the door. But I, w I didn't close the... What happens if I hit the button a second time? The door's open. Strange, because I, I figured out how to open the door. <sighs> right, so if I start recording now and then press the button. And then set it down. Then press Q. Oh shit. Laser again. God damn. Freaking laser. <laughs> Alright. I think I figured this out. I think, but I said that earlier and obviously that wasn't correct. So I'm gonna start recording. Let's do that. Alright, so that's recorded. Now what happens if I stand here? Now that now that I recorded that all, let's try just redoing it. Oh, it worked! Look at this. It's just a replay of exactly what I just did. Boom! Oh, bravo. <laughs> that makes me happy. I didn't think I was going to get that. Alright, I figured it out. All right, let's see. I don't. I'm not gonna watch that. I want to try to do it myself. But that's what. That's a spoiler. All right. So obviously I can go up there. Now let me see where I'm trying to go. Before I walk over here, let's make sure there's not a. Obviously, I'm trying to. Obviously, I'm trying to jump that way. So. All right. That's what I thought. So, what I need to do... Is the door already open? Or? Yeah. Alright. So what's the pur purpose here? Oh, I think I get it. This is on the other side of the thing, so... Yeah, so this is not gonna be affected... ...by the... That portal right there... ...will not be affected by the... ...bridge, neither will the one I am... ...right here, because it's too high. So... I just need to figure out how to get the bridge over here. Um. Oh, I see. If I do that, then I have have the bridge there. Wait, then how do I get up to it? I need to get up here. Oh, I could do that same time machine thing. Sweet. So now I just record myself going here. And then I play it back. And I stand on top and jump. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, did that? Huh. I didn't even... That's okay. I don't need the, uh... I don't even need the... Here. I just need the... Perfect. 
perfect. Now I just need to put a blue portal up there without touching the bridge area. Alright, I figured this out. Alright, function, or whatever, playback, whatever you want. I just hit F. Alright, so now I just simply put a blue... Oh, did it just... What the heck? Whoa. What is this? That's... that's is that above me or below me? It's above me. What are those things? That's kind of cool. Anyway. So I think I, I thought I had this. Because when you're... When you're up here, does it... It doesn't delete the... Yeah, why is it doing that earlier? It shouldn't delete that. Oh, I could record myself making the portal and then just redo it. Oh wait, I screwed up. See? Didn't last long enough. Alright, so... Give it some good old time. Alright. Now I'm gonna play this function. Alright, right, so now... Ow. It's lagging. Now that I got the portal, I just gotta... What kind of portal did I make it out of? Am I right? You know, I swear I had this earlier. It seems so simple. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe I should just try this again. Is it? Why is this lagging? There we go. It seems so, like, easy. After this level, we're gonna be done. Uh, tomorrow, there will be another episode, hopefully, of uh, Thinking with Time Machine. Especially now that I'm lagging all of a sudden. Alright, I, I totally got this. Look. Look at this. Boom. And then I... Oh, I see why it was disappearing. Because when I put the portal, the blue portal here... The... Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, thank you, YouTube. This was an uh, introduction to Thinking with Time Machine, the newly added Portal 2 mod, or the unofficial Portal 3. Please subscribe, comment, and like. I really appreciate everybody watching this. It's very helpful and supportive. Um, hopefully tomorrow I can get to continuing with where we are now and uh, figuring out what this mod's all about. So far it seems very interesting and I really like the approach the designers or developers have taken. Um, so yeah, thanks for, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.